Hey everyone, Luke here with another video. In today's daily video, I'm going to be talking about why attitude is everything. I've talked about this a few times on my channel, but I have a situation that happened tonight that really goes to show that attitude literally is almost 80% of the battle. Obviously, there's hard work. Obviously, there's luck in, you know, becoming successful, etc., all of that good stuff. But attitude is literally everything. And I've discussed this in some of my videos currently. And it's just, it's really, really a big thing. And I'm just going to recap on this video on why attitude is everything just because of what happened tonight. So basically, here's the situation or the scenario. Me and my girlfriend were walking into Walmart. I was purchasing a sideline basically to have an additional number for my phone flipping business just because of the fact that I have a lot of calls coming in to my personal number because I have over 200 paid phone flipping academy students that have went through my phone flipping course. If you're looking to do big numbers online, you're looking for some guidance, you're looking for an awesome course, it's down below. The link's down below. Click it. Seriously, it's good. But anyways, back to the video. The point is, a lot of people call on my personal number because all my paid phone flipping students have it. So we're going into Walmart. We're buying this phone, and it's just going to be a cheap side phone. Just looking for an iPhone success. Not really a big deal. So we walk up to the counter, back in the electronics or mobile phone section. There's two guys at the counter. One's kind of, I don't know, just kind of chumming along, got a good smile on, you know, just looks like he's having a good time. It's nine o'clock at night. I don't know how long he's been there. And then the other guy behind the counter is just sitting there with his head down. He's just gloomy looking, just looks like he's angry for whatever reason, you know, who knows. And basically, it's just amazing. You know, I just kind of watched the two for like a minute. I'm just like, wow, it's so amazing what attitude does it, it's amazing how having a good attitude can literally make or break everything you're having a bad day at work fix your attitude you're having a bad day in phone flipping fix your attitude that's kind of what it is it's all about having a positive mindset it sounds like you know something that's really small but attitude is actually everything so jumping back into the scenario as we approach them I ask them for help now the guy that was you know greeting me basically or kind of just chumming around with a good smile he greets me with a big smile and he says you know how can I help you or what can I do for you or whatever he's happy to assist and you know he's very customer oriented like this guy is all about customer service I can tell he greets me with a smile good positive attitude uplifting you know talkative basically you know good tone with his voice and then the other one behind him is is just kind of like shaking his head like oh no not another customer okay and the guy that talks to me you know I say hey I need an iPhone success I know you got him behind the counter I need to buy one and he's like okay no problem so he looks over to the guy behind him and he's like hey do you got the keys and the guy's like yeah and he says could you get that phone out for me he says no I'm older than you so I shouldn't have to do it and I don't want to do it guy gives the dude the keys and I just like, I just looked down for a second and being a coach and a mentor, obviously this guy's not my student. He's not my problem. He's not my project, but that just struck me as it, it just, it struck me in a weird way because it's like the other employee wanted nothing to do with helping somebody because of his attitude. It wasn't that getting the phone was hard. It wasn't that it was physically strenuous. It wasn't that it was mentally strenuous. It wasn't even that it would have even caused him any pain or difficulty or really much time. I mean, it took the other guy like 20 seconds, but it was his attitude. His attitude prevented him from just grabbing the phone and saying, yeah, sure, man, I'll, I'll grab you the phone. So I went off on him and I didn't go off on him in a real mean way or anything like that. It was more like constructive criticism, but I just looked at him and I said, hey man, you know, how long have you worked here? He's like, not very long. And I said, well, you know, being employed isn't necessarily for everybody. You know, hey, I could be wrong. Maybe you'll be in your own business a year from now. I have no idea. But from what I just saw, I said, you got to fix your attitude, man. And he's just like, yeah, you might be right. And I said, the way you went about that, man, I'm not your boss or anything, but I said, if your boss was around or you're a manager, you're not going to be working here very long. And he's like, oh, yeah. I don't really care. I said, well, you will care when you're broke. He's like, that's a good point. And I just said, I don't know what's going on. I said, I don't know if something's bothering you or if this is just the way you are all the time. But I said, try and be a little more uplifting, man. Try and greet people with a smile. Try and be happy about your life. Be happy that you have a job. Be happy that you're doing something with your life. Be happy that you're not sitting at home. You know, be happy that you're at least showing up for work. Be proud of yourself. And you know, the other guy sitting here listening to what I'm saying to him with a smile. And he's like, he's exactly right, man. He's like, you got to pick yourself up around here. And by the time I got done talking to him, you know, the guy, uh, 
he kind of stopped mumbling, you know, like he was saying some stuff in the background before, like, oh, I'm older than you, blah, 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 blah. But the guy just sat there and listened to me and he kind of took it all in. You know, he said a couple things like, yeah, you know, you're right. And it's just amazing that that little two minute talk, by the time we were done talking, he had a, he had a different attitude on his face. I don't know if something was bothering him or he just needed to hear that or what, but it goes to show what I've said in past videos, obviously becoming successful, becoming wealthy has a lot to do with hard work. And then it's also about being a little bit lucky and you got to get lucky. You know, like some of these big deals that I've landed, that was luck. Sure, it comes into part with my, you know, like it goes hand to hand with my advertising, the stuff that I teach, the methods that I use, all that and how I sell myself to people. But at the same time, there's a little bit of luck. But the biggest thing behind all that was an attitude. So I wake up one day, I don't get any deals. I don't quit. I don't get gloomy. I don't get mad. I don't get negative. I don't get sad. I don't greet the next customer that calls me like, hey, you suck because your phone's only worth 20 bucks and I'm only going to make 40. No, you got to always have a good attitude. So that's basically what I told this employee. And by the time we got done talking, his attitude changed. Now, I don't know if it's going to be permanent or if he was just putting on a show. But I think that this that little talk with him, I think that it might have done something. And I'm, you know, I'm glad to have done that for somebody. But just keep this in mind, guys. Like this is such a simple scenario, but it was such an easy task. But because of the guy's attitude, this task turned into a mountain. Okay, this was like a molehill task. Like getting an iPhone out of the back of the case, literally grabbing the keys, turning the you know display case, grabbing the iPhone, scanning it. That's it. It's like a three-step process. But he turned it into like climbing Mount Everest because his attitude, his negative attitude made the task seem like it was climbing a mountain. So keep that in mind. When you guys approach something in life or in business with a negative attitude, you are making that task 10 times more difficult just because of your attitude. And I know it sounds crazy, but this scenario basically shows that exact analogy. The guy who greeted me you know, with a positive attitude, who's willing to help, ready to go, do whatever it takes, boom, he just did it. And even when the guy said, I'm older than you, I shouldn't have to help you, the guy was just like, okay, that's fine. Just give me the keys. He didn't, he didn't get sad. He didn't get mad. Nothing. He just took the keys, took action. And that was it. And I even told him, I said, you got a great attitude, man. It's like, that's the way that it should be. And you know, he's all smiling and stuff. And uh, you know, maybe he knows he's got it, but I had to tell him, I had to tell him like, Hey, wow, that's good. Because you don't see a lot of people like that, especially people who are working for other people, that kind of positive mentality, that attitude, that Oh, well, you're going to put me down, but I'll still, you know, continue on anyways and do well. That's like self-employment attitude. That's entrepreneur attitude. So it was really cool to see. But that being said, kind of going back to the topic of the video, attitude is everything and it can literally make or break you in life at your job, uh, whether you're part-time, full-time or part-time with a full-time business or, you know, maybe you're just a full-time business owner, an entrepreneur or a phone flipper, whatever. Attitude is literally everything. So that being said, uh, just kind of wanted to touch on that and hope this uplifts people. Hope you get some value. Uh, tomorrow, probably have a little short video for you guys. I am closing on another rental property, so I'll probably have that video for you. Going to be going over to the title service, be closing, bringing some cash with me for the down payment, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll be getting the house. So that'll be pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited for that. That happens at 9 30 a.m. tomorrow. So that being said, I hope this video uplifts some of you. Hope it gives you a little more motivation and if you're having a bad attitude negative attitude or maybe you're just down on yourself or you just feel like quitting don't do it lift yourself up get up there get out and get it get that money attitude that's what you want you want to have that positive attitude that do whatever it takes attitude you know and that's what it takes to get it done to be successful and you know to eventually be financially free so Thank you guys all for watching. Thanks for the support on the YouTube channel, getting subscribers daily. I super appreciate that. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys are subscribed. Join that notification squad. We do cash giveaways every thousand subscribers. And make sure you guys smash that like button. So thank you all, and I will see you in the next video.